someone I'm most curious about, like, how did you get started on the Midnight Tour? Like, how did, like, Tyler and Tim, like, get connected with you and everything? I got connected with them. Well, it's very funny because I got connected with them through, um, initially it was from a, a manager of another artist that I used to play with. Um, she recommended me. And then it turns out Tyler and I especially had a ton of mutual friends and uh, mm. their manager and I had a ton of mutual friends. And so they emailed me and we started talking and just from the singer songwriter world, Tyler and I, I don't think we had met. We, we can't figure out if we had actually met during this during that time but we just sort of ran in the same circles and knew a lot of the same people so they were looking at a guitar player and they hit me up and um i just made some videos and stuff playing their songs and then they had me play with them it was great <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome were you yeah. already a pretty big fan of their music or did you like discover I, it as well you were? Okay. i had heard of them because my good friends um savoir doer had toured with them in europe mm -hmm. um so i had heard their name but i i hadn't heard their music actually so um it was i was learning everything hearing everything for the first time but it was it was cool people had told me to check them out before and i was like yeah cool and then it, I just kind of dove in after they asked me to play with them and it was great. So much fun. Such great songs. It was a pleasure. That's so cool. And yeah. you, for your, you said for your pedal boards, you just use two? No. Uh, yeah. I mean, I just, I didn't use any, it was just a volume pedal and a, a tuner mm. and everything else was in uh, the Kemper. So basically I made uh patches for every part of every song and mm -hmm. then i programmed that into the ableton session that's right so yeah so, so it would change automatically with the music and stuff nice um yeah. so what was your experience like on tour with them have you have you been on a tour like that before yeah i've i've done a lot of touring before um but yeah, they're so fun. They're the sweetest people and we had such a blast. They made me feel so welcomed and um, yeah, they're just really, really nice people. And I, it was just a blast. The shows were so fun. They're like the most kind and like funny people and we had a lot of fun. That's awesome. What was the yeah. process like uh, learning all of their songs? Was that hard or did you learn them pretty um, quickly? It was a little intense because I had like a week or two, I think, to learn like 25 songs or however many songs. Dang. Yeah. So it was, a, it was a lot of work before. And that was not just learning them, but programming sounds for every little tiny part too. Um so yeah, it was a little intense, but it was good. It was fun. It, it was like it all kind of <laughs> ended up coming together. <laughs> yeah, I was, was I was a little show, stressed, but it was good. Saying. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad you liked it. It was fun. <laughs> all right, I keep I, I keep geeking out. They're like still my favorite band. So. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> um, I love that. I, um, that's funny. You were talking about um, like having like mutual friends with Tyler. So one of my friends, Matt, here in Georgia he uh he went to college with tyler and, oh cool uh, one day i like posted about them on my on my instagram story and he messaged matt messaged me he's like why are you posting about my college friend tyler you know <laughs> like, no do you do you have any idea what he's been up to <laughs> <laughs> that's funny so, yeah um so did you have was that was that process of learning the songs was that like easy did you have to learn new things did you have to like um, or was that hard to learn the style? What was that Yeah, like? I mean, I, um, before this, was not necessarily like a shredder guitar player person. Like, yeah. that wasn't my style. And I was like, um, <laughs> kind of like, okay, like, that's not what I do. I'll do my best and, like, give it a go and see how you like it. But, um, yeah, I definitely learned a lot of new things. I um, 
worked really hard to kind of execute what was on the records and to also do my own thing with it a little bit. They were very open to, you know, creative like input in the live show, which was really fun. And that's not always the case. So, um, Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I learned a ton of new things. I really expanded my own playing doing that gig. Um, it was fun. It was challenging and fun. So what's what's in your ballpark? Like, what are you like most comfortable playing? Well, I mean, I, my background is, um, you know, I was a singer songwriter for a long time, so I feel like I'm most comfortable writing songs, and I'm maybe more comfortable on bass. I was like a, a played bass in a band that I was in for a long time, and sang harmonies and stuff um but yeah maybe i think maybe just like more atmosphere atmospheric guitar playing which like i definitely added in their show too but um Mm -hmm. yeah i don't know does that does that make sense no totally and uh so you said you've been on some other tours before what what other bands have you toured with um before i was working with the midnight i was uh playing guitar with this girl sin who is on Katy perry's label uh so i played with her for a couple years and we toured with Katy perry in mexico which was really fun and yeah (laughs) it was crazy we played like arenas (laughs) she's really nice yeah she's awesome um yeah she's she's great she's really cool uh yeah, and I had actually met Katie like like before she was even before her first single came out like years ago in LA. We were like working with one of the same uh people. Um mm-hmm. so that was kind of funny to like see her again after like 10 years. But nice. uh she yeah, she you? I had to remind her but then she was like, oh, <laughs> my God, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it was great. And then I've toured a ton with, um, I was in a band called Secret Someones. Um, and we did a ton of touring with all kinds of people over the years and with my own stuff and other couple other bands. But, yeah, it's been a lot of touring over the last many years. Nice. And I feel like you just kind of glossed over performing in an arena. That's like an artist's <laughs> dream. That sounds horrifying. What's that what's that like? It's crazy. It's really weird because it's it's like you're so it's like you, it's you're almost detached. You know, there's so many people that are, it's almost like feels like it's not even real, you know? It's just mm-hmm. like what? They're just so far away from everybody. And then, but then sometimes it's like the roar of the people. It's like, oh, oh my God, like crazy, crazy loud and exciting. And it's crazy like before the show too, when you don't have your in-ears in and you're just like listening and it's just like, holy crap, there's like 20,000 people here. That's crazy. Um, It was fun. I, I kind of like, I feel like I... I like the size venues we're playing with the midnight a little bit more because it's mm-hmm. just like, or like, um, Oh, maybe a little bigger than the show you saw. Like 3000 is like amazing because it's, it's really big, but like you still like feel all the people's energy. Sometimes with an arena, you can kind of lose the personal energy that you get from people. If, if that makes mm-hmm. sense. Because you're just so, no, it's totally. like disconnected, you know? But it's cool. Some not of my favorite cool. shows um, ever have been like small venues like The Midnight. And that's not like discounting, you know, what The Midnight can do. I know they can pull a lot of people. But sure, yeah. I love that show because it wasn't that big. But I could tell like just the vibe of the crowd was so cool. Yeah, was, like, I mean. A, a big fan. It's just nice to be able to like really feel the energy of people and you mm-hmm. you you just can't really as much in an arena. It's really fun, but you just don't feel 
the people as much because you're just really far away. I don't know. But it's still cool. Do you get your energy from like the crowd? Do you feed off of that? Or are you yeah. just kind of in your own little world? No, majorly. Yeah. Majorly feed off the crowd in such a big way. I don't know if people realize how much we all need them. <laughs> it's like ma it makes it like completely. Mm -hmm. And it's like sometimes I feel like everybody sort of it's so weird because everybody has a different experience on stage. You're all, like it's like based on your own shit your own thing that's happening in your head based on how you think you're playing and then like what you're feeling from the crowd or whatever. But I mean, it's in every band I've ever been in. It's so funny. You like finish a show and one person is like, I hated that. Like I didn't, I didn't not that, you know, but like, just like I wasn't like feeling it. Like I was distracted or whatever. And then the other person would be like, what? Like that was my favorite show. Like that was so fun. You know, and it's just all about what's happening in your head and the energy that you're getting and giving back. And I always find that like the thing that I love the most about playing music is when it's like a, a meditative state and you just kind of get to like turn off like your brain like turns off and you're just like in this like flow state mm -hmm. of like I don't know it's but it's it's very hard to do because there's so you know our brains are just like constantly like bah, 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 you know I'm like thinking all the time but it's a magical thing when your brain turns off for that for a song or for a little bit where you can just like you're just like in it and you're with everybody. And I think that's the special thing that everybody can feel together when you're watching music, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And I can't relate to a musician, but I did a theater in high school and I remember <laughs> like I would go up on stage, say my lines. And then as soon as like I walked off, I was like, I don't remember anything that I just said. Like <laughs> yeah, I was sure. so into that. So I feel like that's kind of the same for you, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. I mean, there are definitely times where I'm like, have been like so thinking about so many different details mm -hmm. of like trying to execute something properly that I don't get that feeling and it's frustrating, but but when you do, it's it's really good. Yeah. 